at the time of you seeing this video, I'm happy to announce that my secondary channels, uh, The Divine Metaphysical Man and Justify My Thug Podcast, the channels are actually active and up. The videos are up there running right now. So go check it out, Justify My Thug and The Divine Metaphysical Man. Go subscribe to those channels. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. So today, let's get this started, man. We want to talk about men over investing in relationships right i seen this brother talking about how you know some dudes get into the relationships and when the women leave you know how they they hurt the men they these men did all this stuff for these women and these women leave and blah 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 and as i was listening to it i'm thinking to myself that that would never happen to me man because i'm not going to ever put myself in a situation where if a woman leave she leaves me uh, at a plus if a woman leaves me she's leaving at a deficit because she's going to invest from the time she walks into my life see y'all don't move like a pimp a lot of y'all dudes talk this crazy stuff man but if you want to be a good man if you want to be a good husband you got to have some pimp in you I know that's some harsh words. I know the words are taken wrong. When you think about pimping, you think about having women out there selling their bodies. I'm not talking about that. Again, we're not talking about a strict down the line definition. We talking about an attitude. We talking about a swag. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about a, a, a definition of a pimp dealing with women that's on the stroll out there selling their bodies, right? Or women at the, at, at the strip club. I'm not talking about that kind of pimp. I'm talking about the attitude of a man that understands that he is the center. He is the sun, the nucleus, and all the women got to revolve around him. This is a different type of attitude. This is a different type of swag that a man has to have, right? If you want to maintain women. First of all, you got to understand, I've never claimed women because no woman is ever mine. A woman is only going to be with you for as long as she wants to be with you. Therefore... And I mean, this is regardless of what you do for. Therefore, from the time she walks into my life, she's giving me the money. Whoa. I'm just going to put it out there now. Hey, man, look, the black alpha is about to go raw now. I gave y'all a warm-up laugh for a year and some change. Now it's time for me to go raw. I'm telling y'all how I actually did things. Ask, them, ask any woman that was in my life if I'm lying. When they come into my life, they come in giving they're not receiving. They come and giving. Where you working? How much you make? Okay, I need all that. What? You know? I, I'll give you the money to make sure your bills are done. You know what I'm saying? I need all that. You know? That's how it was. Now, now look. Say a woman said, well, I ain't give you my money. Cool. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Because what's not going to happen is you're not going to come into my inner circle. Now, we could play around on the outside. If you want to be on the outside and we just get together and, and, you know, smash and dash or whatever like that, we could do that. But if you want to be my girl, first of all, you claiming me. I'm never going to claim a woman, man, because that woman is only with me for as long as she wants to be with me. I have no power to stop her from walking when she gets ready to walk. Therefore, the entire time she's with me, I am going to benefit off of her. The entire time. The entire time. Because I honestly see myself as the prize. See, a lot of y'all dudes talk that Kevin Samuel stuff, but y'all don't believe it. Because if y'all believed it, y'all would move the way y'all move. See, I believe it. I believe it. When I had my polygynous family, I knew, I knew about five different types of square dudes, square, regular old Joe dudes that had polygynous families. Had nothing to do with Pookie. This pimp thing is an attitude. It's a view of life. It's a view of life. It's, it's, a, it's a way of understanding the interaction between the natures of men and women that cause you to move a certain way. You make that woman 
fall into her nature as a help me. You don't do nothing for her like that. You don't break your neck for her. You let her show you that she wants to be with you. You let her prove herself that she wants to be with you. And if she gets tired of proving it or gets tired of playing alone, she can walk. But when she walks, she ain't hurting you. Because you ain't did nothing. You were, the, you were the beneficiary of her presence as you should be. She's supposed to benefit you. She's supposed to increase your life. I did the mathematics of the man and woman already. Man, look, this channel deep. The black alpha deep, man. And I'm about to start tying all this stuff in I've been talking about. I did the mathematics already. I showed you how if you take that woman, she's a zero. And I don't mean zero in the sense that she's nothing. Because zero is a hell of a multiplier. You put a zero behind a one, that one is only one. You put a zero behind it, now it's 10. You put two women behind the two zeros, now it's 100. You get where that's going? So she's a hell of a multiplier. But at the same time, if you put that zero in front of the one, now she reduces it by 10. You see what I'm saying? She's a hell of a multiplier. So if she's in the wrong position, she's gonna hurt you by 10. If she's in the right position, she's gonna increase your life by 10. The problem is y'all put that woman before you. Isn't that a song? Don't they have a song like that? Put her before you or something like that? That's y'all problem. Y'all put that woman before you. She's supposed to help you. She's supposed to be your backbone. She's supposed to increase the quality of your life. So every woman that ever came into my sphere came given. I ain't play that, bro. I asked him straight up the top, man, what you, what you gonna bring to the table? Man, ask him. If you think I'm lying, find women from New Orleans and ask him. Nah, they been like, Kush didn't play that crap, bro. You know what I'm saying? He asked you straight up, man, what you bringing to the table? Oh, I'm gonna a, I'm a suck your dick. No, no, uh -huh. I, I got five other women sucking my dick. I don't need that. What you gonna bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? If all you got is sex, we got a problem. You got you got to bring more than that to the table. You got to stay on the outside. Because the women in here bring it. They contributing. All these women in here contributing to the pot. You know what I'm saying? If they still had jobs, their check came to me. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me. And they was glad to give it. And the crazy thing is, like, it's not like I really asked. It's, it's, it's an attitude. It's an energy. They By the time we get to that point, they already see how I am and they already know what they got to do. So one day, let, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with one on the outside, right? She got a nice little job, you know what I'm saying? Paying good, you know what I'm saying? One day she just come and give me the check. Sign it over to me. That's what they do. That's what a woman do when she chose you. She's going to let you know she chose you. And I guess the day she stopped giving you the check, you know, she she didn't unchose you, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter. The point is, I've never invested in women like that, you know what I'm saying, to the point where they can hurt me. And it wasn't done out of some kind of malicious intent, anything like that. I just understand the, the, the nature, our interactions as men and women, our natures, right? I understand how our natures need to interact. So I just never put myself in a certain situation. So women just never could hurt me like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I never claim women like that. A woman, I, I said this, woman can't cheat on me, man, because I don't own a woman. You know what I'm saying? If, if she goes, does something that, that I don't agree with, I just don't deal with her no more. But she did not cheat on me. She is her own human being. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. I don't deal with it no more. I move on. But she did not cheat on me you know what i'm saying she can't cheat on me because i don't own her i just keep on keep on marching but keep on keep keeping on you know i just keep on marching you know what i'm saying i just keep doing my thing but y'all dudes gotta stop trying to buy and win over these women y'all trying to buy these women or win them over again y'all listen to people like kevin samuels and stuff like this talking about the men on the prize but y'all don't believe that because if y'all believe that y'all wouldn't focus so much on how much money you need See, y'all scared of these women talking about they, what they make. Man, I was never intimidated by a woman by what she made. The more money she made, the better off it was. The higher her education, I was never intimi intimidated by a woman talking about she got a PhD or she got a master's degree. I'm like, yeah, cool, come here. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? Come here, you know? I'm about, to put, I'm about to put you in the game. You know what I'm saying? You got a master's degree, how much you making? Oh, I'm pulling in about 100,000. Oh, come, come here, come here, get in the game. You know what I'm saying? 
That was me. Y'all get it. Y'all get scared by that because you feel like you can't match it. I don't need to match it. See, that's the thing. I understood that I don't need to match it. She's making that money for us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, that's that's my mentality. Now, again, I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this, especially the women that's on this channel. Y'all ain't gonna like this, man. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you how it go. And it's not like I let people starve. It's not like, you know, I, I'm mean or I penny pinch them, you know, with their own money. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just telling you, I never invested like that financially. It wasn't happening. A woman was not going to come receiving anything from me. These women have never gotten a, a, a birthday gift from me. They have not never gotten a, got, gotten a Valentine's Day gift from me. They have never gotten a Mother's Day gift from me. None of this stuff. I don't do it. I don't do it. I, to me, the concept of buying a woman that's in your life a gift is silly, especially when all the funds, all the finances are one. When all the finances are mixed, it's all our money. I can't give you a gift with our money, with, with your money and my money. I can't, you know, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I never did that because the, the money is our money. You know what I'm saying? The money is her money too. So what I'm doing, taking her money, buying her a gift, and she supposed to be, oh, you bought me a gift. Nah, that's, that's kind of crazy. So I never did these things. I never played these kinds of games, you know what I'm saying? And we got along fine. In fact, it's not just the women. I never bought my children birthday gifts. I never bought my children Christmas gifts. I never bought my children those kind of, I don't do it. But my kids love being around me. Because they got stuff year round. They had every video game console. They had every video game they wanted. They just didn't get it for no special days. They just didn't have to wait till their birthday or Christmas to get it. They got it when they got it. You know, when they wanted it, you know what I'm saying? They got it. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't do special days. And I never had a problem with my kids. My kids love me to this day. They used to love being around me. In fact, every Christmas, all my children were with me and my nephews. And I didn't buy them nothing. They would spend that whole week that they're out of school by me, and I didn't buy them a thing. Buy, I didn't buy them a single thing, and they would be with me the whole week. They didn't care. Because the, the value of a man is not rooted or dependent on what he gives materialistically, right? It's about what you give spiritually. It's about what you give from your heart, from your intellect, from your guidance. And these are things that y'all don't focus on enough as men. Y'all focus on all the wrong things and you demean yourself. 